Unity Update! Hell <laughs> yeah, blah. Today is the second episode of Unity Update, and we're gonna be showing you, as promised, the making of the VR chair. And Anton Francien, our CTO, is gonna talk briefly about Unity recruiting people at the end of this episode. So, let's watch! <laughs> This week we've been doing a VR chair, building it and trying out different iterations and now we've got a final product that we want to show you. So VR stands for virtual reality. Virtual reality is when you take on a pair of goggles and you can actually see a different world than what you see around you. As Alden's gonna show you now, this is a very powerful tool. So. These are VR goggles. You just grab them like this, put them on your face. So this connects to a computer and then I can just look around like this. And when you sit in this chair with these goggles on, you can see the car from the inside. And this is a very powerful way of showing something that is not yet built. So what we can do with this is we can try out different concepts and then building physical products. So you can actually sit in a physical chair and you can see the surroundings. Now we're going to show you a little movie of how the chair was made. So you can see the whole process of the building, like the physical building. You're gonna see how it goes for the uh, laser cutting. And it's locked. <laughs> cutting to cut out the structure from the wood. Laser. We gotta use lasers if we're building a spaceship car. And this framework was stuck together and glued and then we filled it with a foam. And this foam is a special foam. It's actually used when you build train tracks to support the weight of a train. Uh, that's what we've been told. I uh, trust the engineers I heard. I don't know if it's true though. So now we're gonna continue watching the build process and see how they do the painting and sanding and metal working and getting everything together to the whole beautiful piece. Is everything going according to plan? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> this is the seat. We added some glass fiber and epoxy and now we're sanding it. Jag vet inte om vi ska prata om Alexandra. Tänk om hon blir jätterädd för oss. Det ska ju vara med liksom. Vi testar det Okej. Okay. This chair is actually for a big distributor in Germany coming to our office. So this was a stressful situation. You know, a last minute thing. And we have a new beloved team member with us. Alexandra. Love her very much. She's a very nice person. She was helping with carrying the chair. When she was about to move it, it dropped. <laughs> And, I mean, the engineers that have been building this chair for a few days, they got like, Oh my god, what's, what, what are we gonna do? We can't show it like this. It was supposed to be this spotless, White crisp, shiny. mint condition chair. They were coming the day after, so they needed to get it back in prime condition. We had like 12 hours. The time for the paint to dry was 16 hours. It was just like, what are we gonna do? So, Alexandra, what are we doing now? We're transferring the chair from the workshop. <laughs> I don't want to push you, but... 
So how long left until it has to be done? Uh, I think 12 hours. Theoretically, it could be done. So that was the making of the VR chair. And now we're going to meet a person who's been a big part of that, and that's Anton Francine, our CTO at Unity. So tell us, Anton, have you always been a car guy? Yeah, definitely. I uh, started with go-karting when I was small. Mm -hmm. um, then I moved on to the university, where I joined from a student for a few years. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I did my master thesis at Kennedy Um But then I found Unity, and I really felt that this had potential and I needed to be a part of it, so I joined. So what challenges do you face within Unity at the moment? For the moment, we're developing the first prototype of the vehicle, uh, so we're actually expanding our team to be able to do that. And, uh, okay, and what kind of people are we looking for? A lot of different competences is needed. Uh, so for example, with optics, software, electronics, mechanical engineering, uh, composites. So pretty much a diverse and a large group of people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And if you're watching now and feel like you might be good for the team, what would you do then? Uh, just click this link and send us an email. Did you hear that? You can be part of Team Unity today. Click the link and send us an email. Terms and conditions may apply. Upon arrival, you will be given a cubicle, and you may not leave that cubicle unless the supervisor tells you to do so. Lunch breaks may not durate longer than 30 minutes each. Workers shall arrive at work at 9 in the morning and leave no earlier than 5 in the afternoon. The microwaves may not be utilized more than 2 minutes a time. If you wish to visit the restroom, you may do so 3 times per day. Not really. Here at Unity, we believe people are different and have different ways of working. So we've created a dynamic environment where people can thrive. So please don't hesitate to apply. We will be glad to answer your questions and see if you're eligible for the positions we have. And remember, for us, passion, dedication, and creativity is more important than experience. All you need is a drive to learn. And that is all for this week. Thank you for watching episode 2 of Unity Update. Next week, episode 3 is coming out and we're going to go to a yacht. We're going to go to a prison. I will not tell you more, but it's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for that one. And please leave your comments below. And as always, please subscribe.